Now, Poncho, we all know that Digital Records was great for three years. But on December 18, 2018, Digital Records changed to Global Force Records. Why the record label change and why the progression? We know Digital Records uh, for three years like just shocked the world. When I first found a, a Digital Records back in August of 2000. 15 uh it was tremendous august 13th of 2015 as a matter of fact was when i founded digital records and at first i had ms twine bopping uh and uh, dalton man just some all-stars and then you know uh digital records over the years and some great moments, some great labels, some great songs, some great music videos, and great history. But with history comes a price, and history you have to upgrade. And in today's music industry, you have to do a lot more, and you have to go the extra mile. And with Global Force Records, we will go the extra mile. So far, I've got... A lot of people signed, a lot of uh, faces, a couple of faces signed so far. So it's growing every day, Global Force Records is. And it's on top of the market on social media right now. I plan to go even farther than that, go to the billboards, hey, even go to the TV, hey, go even to radio. So Global Force Records has a bright and wonderful future. Just put it into God's hands. And it was God, uh, the one that. Uh, let me change and maybe change the name from Digital Records to Global Force Records. Because with Global Force Records, we are global and we're a force to be reckoned with. So, it makes sense to have Global Force Records. And no, I did not copy the name from Jeff Jarrett to Global Force a wrestling either. You know, Jeff Jarrett, he had great success with GFW and still has great success with Global Force Wrestling. But... Global Force Ra or, uh, I about said Global Force Wrestling because I thought of Jeff Jarrett at first. But Global Force Records is a God-given name and it will continue to go to new heights.